Let's move over to the Warriors because James Wiseman suffered a meniscus tear in his right knee. Could miss the rest of the season, sources told our Adrian Wojnarowski. Wiseman, the number two overall pick, of course, in the most recent draft, suffered the injury in the second quarter of Saturday's victory over Houston. Elevated for a dunk, landed awkwardly afterward. Oof, right? The Warriors just one game ahead of the Pelicans for that final play-in spot out west. So, Perk, how does this injury impact the Warriors' plans for the rest of this season and the offseason, too? Because there's a lot of the fan base that would like them to make a big trade, and Weissman's name has been brought up in that. Well, well, to me, I think, you know, right now, first I want to wish uh, Weissman, you know, I'm sending my prayers out that he gets healthy because I think his future is bright. But if I'm the Golden State Warriors, you know, I'm not about to be pounding on Steph Curry and playing him a lot of meaningless minutes trying to win games because they're not going to win a championship. They're probably not going to win the play-in. They might they might sneak up and get into a first round and lose. So save Steph Curry. I think he should be able – I think they should do the load management part to that aspect. But then on the flip side of it, you got to think about it. Saving Steph Curry, losing games, the Warriors could possibly have two lottery picks this summer. I think the number four pick and the number ten pick – and you add that to Steph Curry, if he stays along with a Draymond Green, a Klay Thompson, and a healthy Wiseman, I think, hey, because maybe you could trade the lottery picks, maybe you keep them. Who knows what's going to happen? But at the end of the day, you got some equity, you got some stock that you could possibly get this summer. Okay, let, let me, let's be honest. Perk, everything that you said is correct. Hey, Warrior fans, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Do you remember when they were talking about Klay Thompson being traded for Kevin Love? Do you remember those conversations and how, like, Steve Kerr was like, no, you are not doing that. Look, Wiseman is a special player. To judge a guy at 19 years old, Wiseman is a very special player, and he's going to be a very special player for a long time. Now you want to maximize, you want to maximize Steph, you want to maximize, but there's probably only two players, maybe a Bradley Beal, maybe somebody else. There's not too many players out there that you would actually warrant because, oh, if Bradley Beal came to, to the Warriors and it was Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Bradley, okay, that's a championship-level team. But if you're just going to go do it for, and I'm not going to say any player's name, but if you're going to go do it for a a second tier all star or a person that you're making the biggest mistake. This guy can be your future for the next 10 years. So be patient, use the talent that you have, and you're going to be okay. Well, look, I, <laughs> there's a lot of different directions that they could go. I always want to point out about those picks. If it, the Minnesota Timberwolves end up in the top three after the lottery, that's protected. Mm -hmm. So they won't get that pick if the, or if the Timberwolves end up top three, but we'll have to see. And by the way, Steph Curry possibly going to pass Wilt Chamberlain tonight that's for awesome. all-time points scored in you a Warriors Wilt uniform. Passing Wilt in anything, that's awesome. So, yes, exactly. So uh, I don't think they're load managing him tonight, Perk, but I do get your point. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm going to, if whoever's on the prompter can help me out and say,